Okay, well, I'm getting tired of hearing the same music for 30 minutes. Hey, Scrubby! Right. Hey. We're playing a game. Yeah, we are playing a game. What are we playing, Ricky? We're playing The Sun Misses the Moon because they're relatively near each other. Hey, yeah, you're right. Um, okay. Have either of you said this space? game? <laughs> So yeah, who who made this? What who has produced this wonderful masterpiece? Me, it's Fruity. You guys might remember me from a long, long, long time ago. <laughs> I was accompanied by an Irish woman. <laughs> oh yeah, back way back in the day. All right, where well, we played another visual novel that was full of terrible voice acting huh. by us. Yeah, but you I'll know what? American. What what is voice acting without terrible voice actors? An anime. <laughs> God. All right, let's play an anime. So the clock has struck. This my hour. Time to rise up. It, not doing. It. Sadly for you, love. But patient am I. To wait for you. For I'm done. Can't can't read. But patient am I to wait for you to falter. You will be mine soon. Said Dracula, that we are the same. The burning passion within it will not be quenched. Jesus Christ, what is this? I should mention turn... this is all entirely in haiku. All of it? All of these are each one of them is a separate haiku, but it's a, together a monologue. That's not bad. I like that. That's awesome. Innocence we play, if only he knew about the rest. That you don't recall. It reading stuff that the letters don't appear after it pisses me off. We shall eclipse him, for he is a simple tool for my own pleasure. Dear one, come now, Hel Helios? It's a god, I think. Yeah, I. Of the sun. Is it? Hey, god of the sun. Oh. Helios, it is time for you to wake. He is here for us. One, one, one of you guys. Okay, yeah. Hey, Saul, it's time to get up! Hey, Sol, wake up, you spit monkey! You're going to be late for the first rehearsal! I am not going to make excuses for you this time with the damn professor again. Do you have any idea what sort of horrific thing came out of his mouth last time I covered for you? Ew. He already hates me enough, and I don't want to serve extra volunteer hours because of you. I may be your best friend, but I am far from being a masochist. You can't sleep in all day like you used to in high school, man. This sort of thing will not be tolerated. Mr. K case K K case cat cat senior plan. And Mrs. Casme have already left for work and here you are just lazing around. And I am seriously not interested in catching it from your mom. Shall shall I tackle this? I mean Go for it. Ow, Lucas, don't beat me with my own pillow. I'm awake now. God, he's being such a sadist this morning. What has gotten into him? I really have to keep reminding myself why this guy is my best friend sometimes. Or why I... Are you even listening to me? Lucas! You pillow-wheeling demon, I, the Great Rizzo Soul will not stand for this. Your powers have no effect on me, Great Wizard. God, he's so heavy. There's no reason for this violence. Oh, boy. Wake up! I refuse. I absolutely refuse. I need my great slumber in order to protect the planet. I will win, oh great wizard. I shall conquer you! Lucas, why have you climbed on top of me? You're seriously the heaviest skinny kid I have ever encountered. Get off of me, demon. I shall not... I intend to use my demonic powers to will you awake. I am awake. And even if I wasn't, how would you intend to get me out of bed? Well, so, I really have a simple answer for that. I have to admit, I didn't want to tell you this way, but I just can't hold it in any longer. What is he talking about? He's just kidding around, right? I mean, there is no way, right? Lucas, I, uh... Uh, not the face! Not the face! The great wizard insists you stop smothering him with the pillow. We are going to be late. So, uh, 
what do you have planned for the next month and a half? What sort of question is that? You know that I don't have my next breakfast plan, let alone what I'm going to be doing in the next month. See, this is why you leave the ideas to me. I'm the ideas man. The last grand idea you had almost got you arrested. I would call that a success, not a failure. I'm pretty sure your grandma would argue the point pretty damn quickly. Don't bring Gigi into this. She doesn't need to know about that incident, okay? You mean the incident where you were soliciting on the sidewalk? Or the incident where you took off all your clothes to dance around a fire pit out in my yard? <laughs> Alright, I see your point. Soliciting on the sidewalk is a definite no-no. <sighs> what? And dancing around naked on your yard. Thank you. Party pooper. I'll li I live to please. I've always hated my early morning class. I'd somehow talk myself into taking my college outburst at 9 a.m. like a total idiot. Math isn't even my worst subject, but I don't think there's any human being who can pay attention when the sun is still thinking about going to sleep. Ricky? Ah. Then you take the square root of 352. God, what is she even talking about now? I zoned out. Uh, hey, Turi? Maybe he knows. He's the top of this class and he takes super killer notes. After all, what kind of person has 30 count of organized highlighters? Unless they're super serious about note taking. Though I guess he could totally just like highlighters, highlighting stuff. <laughs> yeah. Don't mean to take yeah, who should take Turi? Okay, I can do it. Do it. Huh? What is Sunday? Sunday? That's hilarious that you've chosen that because his, like, he's like this super tall, beefy, nerdy black guy whose voice actor would probably be British. Oi, crikey, mate. No, it is. Oh, God. Australian. That is Australian. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Man, he's still calling me that? What is Sunday? Does he mean Sunday? Do you have notes on this chapter? Of course I do. Wanna take a pink? Everything he says sounds like a punchline to an innuendo, and I'm the only one he does it to. I'd say he was making fun of me, but anytime I ask to look at his notes, he's always super nice about it. I'm at a loss at what she's talking about in this section, so could I borrow your notes? <coughs> Shit. <laughs> Mr. Cassman, Mrs. Cicero, quiet down. Sorry, Mrs. Kleins. Kleenex. <laughs> That's Mr. Kleenex, Mr. Cicero. I'll give them to you after class, Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> Thanks. Ooh. Maybe I should ask him what Sunday means while I'm at it. You got spirited away to the computer lab and you didn't think to text me? It wasn't as though I was kidnapped. Don't say kidnapped so casually. Anyway, he really wants us to come over. You said his name was Turi Cicero, right? I think I've heard of the guy. Pretty sure he's the one who started the Theories and Snacks Club here on campus. Sounds like him. Well, grab what you want from the shop and we'll go find a place to eat before our next class is start up. Wait, does that mean we're going to his place? Sure does. Oh joy, he's already hyped. I finally get to school somebody in the ways of like you. I wouldn't be so sure of that. He seems to be into gaming just as much as you are. We'll see about that. This is going to be a long day. So, when we get on Lackey tonight, I am taking you across the Thawed Mountain Pass to this EXP mill area with a bunch of Thaw Spiders and Raw Dogs. I thought Thawed Mountain was level 30 and up only zone. There's a little glitch that if you take the right tiny path over and around the actual pass that gets you right through. That feels like cheating. Bruh, it's MLG Pro. That makes you sound like a dick every time you say that. I know. It's a terrible habit. It's 
not my fault. Me TV has so many game commentators like that. Pardon me. Okay, so this is one of the sprites that have from my original like work. His sprite is coming, thankfully. But yeah, just ignore the fact the art's completely different. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Alright. Huh? Is he talking to me? What does the president of the student government want with me? Candy Floss, we need to talk. Candy Floss? He must mean Lucas, but his hair isn't any less candy like, although I suppose it's the light. I think his hair is more red than pink. No, oh, hey, I'm Marvin. There's only so much breathing room, and you're taking up the emergency supply. How does Lucas know this guy? Don't be a brat, Mia. I came halfway across the campus to deliver you some news. I'd expect you to be more polite towards me in front of your friends. Mia? Why would, why would he call Lucas Mia? Is this guy a relative? They do look a bit similar, I suppose. I should say something. Lucas doesn't look very happy. It's absolutely none of your business how I do anything, Marvin. Soul can hear whatever it is you have to say. I highly doubt that is the case. I know you better than that. I doubt you've told him anything. Shut up. Okay, so for <gasps> this, you need to do stand-up for Lucas because the other route isn't, like, polished. <laughs> Bed end. Okay. You know, I really don't know. I really don't know how much much about Lucas. I've known him for what feels like forever, but maybe I don't know how the real Lucas is, or is it Mia? What should I do? Stand up for Lucas, Dio. Yeah. Hey, why don't you leave Lucas alone, Twinkle Toes? Who do you think you are? Excuse me, Twinkle Toes. <laughs> oh my God, Soul, is that the best you could do? What? I was doing my best. Excuse me. Uh oh, it looks like I may have made him angry. We're going to lunch, so he'll have to talk to you later. Well, hey, Soul. Hey, where do you think you're going? You can't just drag him away. Watch me. Oh, God, please don't follow us. Hey, uh, Soul? Yeah? Thanks for that, back there in the cafeteria with Marvin. Your great battle plan to circle back and grab our food after he was gone was stellar. Oh, well, thanks. Uh, so you're going to tell me how you and Mr. Student Government are related? That bastard is not related to me. Not if I have anything to say about it. Then who is he? The guy was pretty rude, but there has to be more. I don't really want to talk about it. Oh, well... But... I do owe you for rescuing me from that dastardly dragon. So... Sit down, fair princess, and let me weave thee a tale. I'm not sure I want to know now, and why am I the princess in this analogy? So, unfortunately, I'm actually related to that thing. He's my older half-brother. We look too much alike to pass it off as a simple coincidence. The worst part about it is that we looked less alike before. I dyed my hair day at the circus. Yeah, you're a natural blonde, so are you telling me that dark pink or reddish colors is natural tint? Weird thing, right? Uh, that's the least strange thing about the Connard. He's only 25, but he talks like some old cockney Englishman. What's wrong with being an Englishman? Everything when you're half Frenchman. Really grinds my gears every time he opens that gaping trou de tot of his. Whenever Lucas gets really angry, he starts spicing up his senses with French. I've learned more French vocabulary from his ra him raging out an impossible cat than all my years of high school French class. Merit. I cannot stand him. He hates my guts, but I'm only just a result of my mom. She... You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. No, no, it's... It's fine. My mom was playing at a grand concert in Paris when she met my father. He was her moment of faiblesse, as you would call it. As a result, I was born nine months later, tore our family apart until my fifth birthday, mother decided that I'd be better off living with Gigi. So she just left you? Yep. 
just dropped me off at uh, grandmother's house and never looked back. How could I go this long without knowing any of this? Why won't he tell some me something like this? I'm not even sure how to respond. That's awful. Why are you crying? Come on, soul. This is exactly why I didn't want to tell you. But, but how could they do that to you? I bond, dear. Stop crying for me. Dumbass. But if I don't, you never will. Yeah, I suppose that's true. But still, I should have saved those tears for someone more important than me. Idiot. It's well, meant to actually, be first name is my Across all time, my soul really? what does it mean? has been searching no. to Come on, why don't why you tell me? I just wasted valuable salt water for you. By my side I like to keep you on through the door. Okay. Oh, um, well, is there anything you want to say before we wrap up? Um, not too much. The Kickstarter is not going to be done for a couple weeks, probably. And there's still shit tons of work that goes into this. Like, this is not like a stereotypical college day by day visual novel, but mm -hmm. that would be kind of spoilery. So I'm not going to like really talk about it on like video. <laughs> yeah, all you can say is it's not a trope. No. <laughs> That's good. Uh, Ricky, do you have anything to comment about uh, our, our fun game here? Yeah. I really like the art. Like, Soul and Lucas, it looks awesome. Yeah, Lucas looks really great. My, I, like I love my artist to death. Her name's Cherry Splice, and she's on DeviantArt and Tumblr, and she's responsible for a lot of Assassin's Creed and, like, other comics about games, and her art style is beautiful. Whoa, 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 whoa. She, made, whoa, she made Assassin's Creed. What? She, no, she does comics. Assassin's Creed comic, fan comics. That is close, absolutely awesome. Close enough, Ricky. <laughs> Wait, what she like her art. Her art's perfect for my writing style. I was like, "Can you please do this for me?" <laughs> yeah, that's great. I'm really happy that you got somebody doing it for you too. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, the Kickstarter is mostly just to fund her more than anything. Because yeah. the coding I can get done for free. It's and the music. Most of the music is not is written by me and this other guy. Not like except for like one that I still need to remove. Mm -hmm. All of it's like original music. Oh wow, nice. All right, well, um, we can talk more about it once we wrap up, but I don't want to keep us going for too long. Uh, so any last things you need to say about Kickstarter or anything? Not right now, but there will probably be more preview videos that I'll do with the Scrubbies of just, like, certain little things. We'll probably try to keep spoilers out, but the demo is probably going to be about this long. There's still, like, maybe 15, 20 minutes worth of gameplay left that's going to be part of the demo. <laughs> okay, all right, well, that's good. Uh, well, and, well, and, thanks for tuning in to our Scrubbies podcast. <laughs> uh, Scrubcast? Yeah. Uh, sure. Well, see you next week.